Today's lesson is about multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands. All right? So here's our learning scale. We're going to be working on level two of our learning scale today. And so our learning goal will be, I will be able to multiply a whole number of up to four digits by a one digit number using strategies based on place value and operations. You also will be able to multiply two by two digit numbers using strategies based on place value and operations. So I would um, recommend writing this down in your notebook just so you have it. When you are multiplying large numbers, I recommend that you circle the basic fact. The basic fact is pretty much any digit other than zero. And then triangle the zeros in both of the factors. You're going to multiply the basic fact in the two factors to get part of your product. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And then you put the same number of zeros from your factors that you triangled at the end of your product. So let's try. So the first step is we're going to circle the basic facts. So in this first one, I have 40 times 30. So my digits that aren't zeros are 4 and 3. So I'm going to multiply those numbers and get 12. And then I'm going to triangle the zeros that are in my two factors. When I triangle those zeros, I know there are two zeros in my factors. Therefore, there need to be two zeros in my final product. So 40 times 30 is 1,200. Let's try another one. 50 times 30. So the basic fact here, or the digits that aren't zeros, are 5 and 3. So I have 5 times 3. I know 5 times 3 is 15. And I triangle the zeros that are in my two factors. There are two zeros in my factors. So I have 15 and two more zeros that are in my product. So 50 times 30 is equal to 1,500. Let's try this next one. My basic fact is 8 times 9, which is 72. Triangle the zeros. I have two zeros, so my final answer to 80 times 90 is 7,200. All right, let's try with some bigger numbers now. So my basic fact in 600 times 80 would be 6 times 8. I know 6 times 8 is 48. And then if I triangle my zeros, I have to triangle every single one of them. I have two zeros here and one zero here. Two and one is three. So in my product, I will have three zeros. So 600 times 80 is 48,000. Let's look at the next one. My basic fact here is five times two, that's 10. Triangle your zeros. I have one and two, that's three zeros. Now be careful because there's a zero already in our basic fact. That does not count as part of our three zeros here. Okay, so you're going to have three zeros from your original problem, but then you have one more zero from the five times two. So don't get tricked. So it's a total of four zeros because we had one, two more, and then a zero there in our basic fact. All right, and then let's try this next one. We have 700 times 80. Seven times eight is the basic fact, which is 56. And then I have one, two, three zeros. So in my final answer, I will have three zeros from my original factors and add on that 56. So 700 times 80 is 56,000. All right, let's try with some even bigger numbers. So I have 8,000 times 90. Well, my basic fact is eight times nine, which is 72. Triangle those zeros. So I have three zeros and one more zero. So that's four zeros and then add on that 72. So 8,000 times 90 is equal to 720,000. All right, again, 
We have 50 times 400. The basic fact is 5 times 4, which is 20. Triangle those zeros. Now again, remember we have a zero here, so don't get tricked on the total number of zeros here. So we have three zeros from the ones we triangled, and then one more zero from the 20 in 5 times 4. So our total number of zeros in this case is really 4 because we have the extra zero from our basic fact. So 50 times 400 is 20,000. All right, and then 90 times 1,000, we have 9 times 1 is 9. Triangle the zeros. So I have 1 and 3 more zeros. So that's a total of 4. So 90 times 1,000 is 90,000. All right, I would like you to try these problems tonight um, for your homework, just so you get a little bit of practice. Bring them in tomorrow in case you have any questions, let me know. And now that you've done this, think about your learning goal again. Think about where you're at after you have watched this lesson. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.